so I just wanted to go ahead and make this video really quick. Um, so basically, I know I kind of been MIA for a little bit, and oh, sorry. Ooh, reason being is so wet. Sorry, it was wet on my bed. I literally just got out of the shower. I love robes. I'm always in one, especially when it's cold. Um, but anyway, anyways, um, I wanted to go ahead and make a quick little video. Um, reason I have been so MIA lately is because um, I actually recently found out that not only do I have um, De Quervin's disease in this wrist, my right hand, see that little bump? It's a cyst in between my two tendons that run to my thumb, so I get kind of like a trigger finger in the thumb. And it's actually more common along, among um, women that have children. I don't have kids. But um, my doctor said it is possible to to obtain it, especially when you're lifting and doing things like that a lot. Um, so that's been kind of putting a little downer on my lifting. I kind of sound sick right now. I don't know if it's allergies or what, but I haven't really felt great all day. I'm thinking it's allergies because my throat's been picking a lot. Um, but I don't feel like achy or anything like that. And then. But anyway, that's besides the point. So I've had um, the Duquervin's disease going on. It's finally kind of getting better. I have a brace that I wear at night. Um, I was told to do surgery. I don't want to do surgery on my wrist yet because sometimes that can fuck you over. Um, and it seems like it's becoming a little bit more manageable. I've been laying off of it um, completely, 100% for the past uh, three weeks actually. So. It's been healing um, up a little bit better. And then also, um, I I tried lifting today a little bit. It was the lightest I've ever done, like ever. I don't think I've gone this light in at least five years that I've been lifting. Um, I did a couple triceps just to kind of pump blood in there, but it, it honestly, I feel like I didn't do the movements correctly because I was too scared about my hand. Um, and then I did um, I did uh, some lat pull downs uh, because I haven't worked out my back in three weeks. And um, it was okay, nothing hurt, so I just kept at it. Um, I had actually one of my really good friends, Tesha, back home. She's a personal trainer. She wrote me a three day workout plan. Um, I'll send you, I'll put her information in the um, description below if you need a personal trainer to go to. She's really good. Um, she works out of California, where I'm originally from. Um, <clears throat> she can help me with like bikini preps, weight loss, whatever your goals are. Um, but anyways, she brought me a, a plan for legs to hit it three times um, because I actually reached out to my old coach and asked him like, hey, you know, Lloyd, can you kind of help me out? I don't know what to do, um, and it, you know, I, it really, it's really been a really hard journey for me. Um, so he told me to hit legs three times um, a week, uh, keep my carbs low, you know, and just kind of see where that kind of helps me. He kind of gave me a baseline to work from, and I started doing that, but now I'm at the point where it's not working. I'm plateauing, so I'm actually switching up my diet to keto. Um, just to kind of try it, not like a strict keto or anything like that. It's actually going to be um, lower, lower protein uh, carbs. I'm still keeping them at 60 grams, which is pretty low. Um, today they were only at 50, and it's all from vegetables. I don't even eat like a single grain. Like I didn't have, yeah, no, not nope. And uh, try how see how that goes. Um, so far I like it. I've been doing this for, mm, not seriously for two weeks, but this will be like the first official week I've been doing it. So we'll see how my body reacts to that. Um, now as for, um, back to what else I've recently found out, um, I have SAD, which is, <laughs> it's so funny, it's sad. Um, seasonal, what is it? On seasonal onset depression. Uh, yeah. Well, anyway, 
it's it's called sad, but it's basically seasonal depression. I'm really bad with medical terms. I need to get better at that. But anyway, um, yeah. So because I come from California, so I'm used to being in the sun, literally. 360 days out of the entire year like maybe we'll have a couple of rainy days or gloomy days you know so I'm really not used to this new winter actual winter bullshit that happens out here in New York I think winter's stupid I hate global warming because it's humid here and then it rains and then you're freezing and it's humid and you don't understand what's going on so I actually wouldn't be surprised if this is a cold coming on, but knock on wood, Ugh, I don't have any wood, <sighs> that it's not, and um, you know, uh, I'm gonna hope for the best, sorry I look super tired right now, and that's because I kind of am, but yeah, so I've been battling with that and the decoyment um, disease, and the decoyment disease is making me more depressed <laughs> because of, of seasonal depression, and it's just been a big mess, honestly, like, with everything. Luckily, I have a really great support system. You know, I have a wonderful boyfriend who's helping me out. I actually haven't told... I told my parents about my Corbins, but I haven't actually told them about the seasonal depression, which I'm sure my sister is kind of like, yeah, duh, because she has it, I'm sure, as well. Um, but, you know, it's nothing to be ashamed of. I'm not ashamed that I have it, you know, because now I know how to prepare for it. Um, I actually was, like, thinking as hard as I could, like, what can it be, what can it be? You know, there's no reason for me to feel this upset. I know, like, I'm pretty upset about my wrist, but it's not like a do or die situation. And I was literally waking up just in tears, like, I, and I was like, nothing's wrong in my life, like, Nothing at all is wrong, except for my wrist, which is an injury, which I will get over just like anyone else. So what the fuck? And then it turned out that my roommate actually suggested it, and sure enough. So, well, suggested the depression, uh, seasonal depression. Because he's like, you're from a place that's sunny all the time, and now you're here. And so now I... thinking like well how can I help you know me not get depressed and obviously the sun while well, what imitates sun tanning beds it's the same UV lights so the other last week I actually went tanning um, for the first time in months because I do go tanning um, in the summertime and stuff because I love it like I grew up at the beach how can you not love it but anyway so I went and I only went for five minutes, not even a long time, you know, nothing crazy. It was a low, it was a level four bed, which is, you know, standard. And I was so incredibly happy and in love. Like I could feel myself just like getting better as I left the gym. Like it wasn't like immediately, but as I was walking home from the gym, I felt way better. Um, the, one of the gyms I go to has a tanning bed. And so I was super happy and it's nice to know that now I can battle this and not get stuck. And I'm going to try and make more reviews for you guys. Um, whoever watches them, I don't even know, <laughs> but I hope you guys do. And um, what else did I want to say? Um, yeah, so that's basically blatantly why I've kind of been in my A. I'm going to do a lot better, try to post more videos, I actually kind of want to show you guys my supplement breakdown um, and why I'm going to start choosing to eat more food versus protein powders um, and also kind of like my regimen, how I'm working through my injury because who knows maybe um, it'll help other people that actually have declarance disease which really sucks <laughs> and I'm really glad it's only on one hand and not in both um, but you know the Lord is good and I know that he will bring all the answers that I need to help me get through this and all the people that I need and so yeah and anyway just wanted to give you guys a quick update um, I'll let you guys know 
next week how the keto diet is going. I know it takes a couple weeks to actually switch over um, when she get going and um, we'll go from there. Like, subscribe, comment, dislike, go to my links below and check out our sales that's going on at nutritionandtigerfitness.com. And um, yeah. Oh yeah, Instagram. Check out that too.